Okay, so you're, when you're gonna start your unit, first thing you want, you're gonna wanna do is go into menu, menu, into setup, and you're gonna go down to user mode. You're gonna turn that to advanced. Okay, this will allow you to have more options and tunability to the unit. Second thing you're gonna do, whether you're using this for ice fishing or on a boat, you're gonna come here into sonar and you're gonna turn fish ID off. I have another old video about this. Fish ID off, what it does, it gives you that little fish icon here. So it's gonna give me a fish here. There you go. So it gives me uh, an icon for fish every time. The problem with that is when you're trolling, going on a boat and not, and, and not ice fishing, you can be marking a little bait ball of fish. I mean, it's very confusing. You can have debris in the water, especially if you're fishing a river system. So learn how to read your graph and your data that's back on your graph and how to differentiate a fish to debris. So we're gonna turn that off because it's very misleading. It's the first thing I do into our, when I buy a unit, is turning this fish ID off. What's great with the Humminbird Elite Size 7 is I've really been enjoying this is the IR chirp settings, which I'm using right now. It's right here. So when you press menu, when you have it into the sonar mode, is you can play with it. And as if you can see, if I leave it at off, look at all the, the return I'm getting. That's from water density and also the bottom structure. It's really hard. We're on a cliff here. So I'm able to play with my chirp IR I have six settings and so far three is the best, it eliminates all that. So this is something I've really been enjoying, even fishing around people. Josh is right here, he's about 50 feet away from me. He's fishing with a different unit and it, these all, will also be interference from his unit. So I just go into menu and play with those settings. So far three is the best, five ain't bad. So I'm gonna leave it at three. And with this, I can play with my gain too as well. So I'm gonna leave my gain, I like to have it to, I like to have my settings so you can see, oh, I got a fish coming up, so you guys are gonna hold on to that. So the way I set up my settings, I like to have it set up where, see how the blue return here, which is my weakest signal? I like it to disappear, but just a bit. You know, the blue signal is your weaker signal, so if a fish comes in the cone, he's gonna show up blue first, then green, then yellow, then red, it's right under your cone. And obviously the thicker your marking is, the bigger the fish is. Now after turning fish ID off, what you wanna do is go into menu and go into switch fire. You wanna make sure it's in max mode. Unless you're fishing 10 feet or less, you want to leave this into max mode. Clear mode is really just, as you can see, to mark bottom. Um, it's really hard to, for me to mark my bait now. I do have less interference, so you can play with that. But the return and the sharpness of max mode when you're fishing deeper water is much better. It's faster, it's more accurate I feel, so max mode is better once you're fishing deeper than 10 feet. I leave it, I leave my, my speed on ultra all the time, ice fishing, I don't play with that. Always on ultra. So the surface clutter, I always leave it at one. Surface clutter is up here, as you can see. As I go, it'll get thicker. And if you get shallow, it's, this is two feet you're gonna miss. So I always leave it at one. I don't want surface clutter. And another thing I'm gonna do, once I press menu, is go into my upper range. The first two feet, I don't need. I, I mean, I can look down the hole. Unless I'm fishing shallow, I remove them. I want to amplify the screen. So see how my lines are getting thicker and thicker as I, I remove this? So I leave it at two or three. I don't really need to see two or three feet below the ice. And that eliminates the surface clutter that's up there. So we're gonna leave it at two, you can play with that. So you got your RST window. I leave my color, color, my color window here. You can have it in mono here. It's also real time, super fast. 
You can have the A scope too on as well. So it's just like a flasher on the right hand side. That's really cool. And you can turn it off. I like my color in full like this. That's what I really enjoy. Your screen colors, you can play with your screen colors by pressing menu and going to sonar colors. I really enjoy the dark colors first because I'm filming. If you notice, if I put it at white, it's a really uh, bright return and that'll kill your battery faster. It's easier for the LED producing, requiring less electricity and energy to leave it as a blank screen. Another thing is if you're ice fishing, you press the power button and your light, you dim it down to six, this will almost double the battery, your, your battery life. That's a tip I'm gonna give you. Leave it in night mode because it'll give you the black screen as well when you're using the GPS like this. See, you can see it's a black screen. I like this, this is easier for my eyes. It's easier for the fish finder, uh, the, the battery I should say. So those are, those are the settings and this is how I set up my unit. Super easy, play with it. So as for auto chart, and see, I've already auto chart. If I pull the transducer out, which I did here, I got the transducer out, and if I leave the transducer out, the reading will disappear, and it's gonna start guessing a thousand feet, 500 feet, and if my auto chart's on, which is off right now, if I leave my auto chart on, I'm gonna get mixed readings here. So I wanna leave it off, Otherwise, it would show a thousand feet, eight hundred feet. See, it, it, it went to 300. So if my auto chart was on, it would have gave me a, a depth of 300 and it would misled my, my auto chart data. You want to turn off your auto chart the minute you're going to pull the transducer off. That's a big tip I can give you to save your maps. So now I'm, I can go from holes to holes and click auto chart and it'll populate a map. Oh, I just got smoked. Got it. <laughs> Sorry guys, I gotta be catching fish here. So now that you got your unit, for me, our, there's two, two screen I enjoy. There's the zoom in screen, and you can play with your zoom by pressing the minus and plus. So I'm at four times, six times, eight times is your maximum. And your number up here will tell you what it zooms at. And on the right hand side, there's a white line here. That's your zoom section. So 34 feet and below times four. And you can adjust those. What you need to do to move the cursor, instead of moving the arrows here, you need to press menu and then show cursor. And then you can go and mark something if you want. If, you're, if I'm gonna come here and press mark, it's gonna give me a waypoint on my map. And once I press exit, the cursor shows away. Another fantastic, which I got to enjoy, is the flasher mode on the Humminbird. What's really cool with your chirp IR, it'll tell you once you move and select your chirp IR, you'll have different width. So when I'm off, I have a 17 foot cone. And when I have on setting three, I have 14 foot cone. So depending on the settings, I'll have a different width of my chirp. So now you have your mapping. What's really cool with this is you can shade your depth. So I'm gonna go to menu, menu, chart. Shaded depth right now to let me know. I, I wanted to fish around 16 feet last time. Now I wanna fish, let's say, I wanna highlight the depth, 41 feet. So now you can see my shaded area has got here so it's great for highlighting shallow structure when you don't want to hit them by boat but ice fishing let's say I want to target 41 feet or less well I put it at 41 feet how cool is that so now I'm gonna put it back to say 20 feet because that's what I like and uh, if you don't mind me I'm gonna go back to catching these fun little lake trout hopefully to catch a big one don't forget to like Share the video and uh, subscribe. If you have any questions, comment down below and I'll answer all your questions about this unit.